basically you will be able after watching this tutorial create your dream game without reading any code and without any knowledge any coding at all just simple drag and drop how to do this I will explain to you in a second my name is Alex Moroz and I captured this video tutorial with ultimate video capture which can be found at www.mrzmedia.com www.mrzmedia.com okay you can capture the desktop option actions and you can capture even the games with that capture it's beautiful capture just 29.99 I suggest you to buy that it's nice it's cheaper than c competitors there and it's doing the job okay so I am assuming you follow my instruction and you downloaded the FPS creator demo and now we're gonna go ahead and run it I'm gonna click an icon FPS creator I'm recording this video tutorial 800 by 600 so everything is gonna look, look hu huge why the reason is why just because I'm trying to uh, have the best quality when I'm gonna compress it and put it on YouTube for you to watch it okay so let me go ahead and explain to you something okay this uh, square here let's call it 3d world a canvas okay everything what is inside of this square we're gonna have on our level everything what is outside in our game level we're not gonna s even see so everything what we're gonna develop is going to be inside of this square okay let's go ahead and get started how to uh, zoom in and zoom out on our 3d canvas we are using these two icons plus zoom in and minus which is zoom out we can also use the third button which is will on our mouse just scroll it to zoom in and scroll it to zoom out okay okay let's go ahead and start and talk about some prefab segments markers and entities prefabs is a 3d models is a huge 3d models at part of the 3d engine of fps creator and it represents some rooms, some houses, some uh, environment, some huge environment, some landscapes, something that you can manipulate inside with, like walking there, walk on it, jump there. So it's basically it's, it's huge models. Let's go ahead and build our first prefab, which is going to be small room armory large I'm gonna left click on it and click OK how to select this I, I left click add new prefab it's open me the option I select armory large click OK and it's gonna appear here click on armory large and I'm gonna place zoom in with the of my mouse scroll I'm gonna place in the middle our room let me increase that black paint uh, brush so you're gonna see okay now you're gonna see the better room see it's bigger now with this little icon I'm increasing it and with this little icon I decreasing it okay okay that's a room with some doors and a ceiling we cannot see the ceiling now but it has the ceiling if we want to see the ceiling I will explain to you in advanced level how to build the ceilings and second floors and some some buildings. Okay, it's going to be advanced tutorial. This one is basic one. So in this one you will have the clear idea how to build and get going on real fast level and real fast game developing. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about how we can test this. In FPS Creator we can test our level in a seconds. To do so, there's two options. I'm going to talk about first option first, which is the best option, 
which is test game this icon here saying test level and the quick level previewer I'm gonna talk about it later so right now I'm gonna click on test level on this little green icon with the joystick and it's gonna compile the game in temporary folder and it's gonna execute it and it can test the whole level in this game I'll click OK and as you can see I can see whatever people will see how my game will gonna look like on their PCs it has default lighting for now the room is completely laid in it has the door I can open it I can move with the WASD and I can jump with the space and I can hear myself while I'm walking I can hear the door it's a pretty cool option you can hear the enemies yourself doors any action into your PS creator so you can build nice shooter I'm gonna click escape to quit the game testing and I'm gonna come back to my editor let's using our prefabs and up arrow left arrow down arrow and right arrow let's go ahead and build our prefabs I'm gonna zoom out with my scroll uh, button on my mouse and I'm gonna build some more rooms here some level as you can see our prefab facing up now how to ch so the door gonna be only up let's say if I wanna have the door on the right or left for this option I need to click R keyboard R key R on your keyboard it's gonna rotate now it's right down and left up right it's gonna rotate simple prefab I'm gonna have the option to build more rooms now let's go ahead and build it like this and put some nice uh, scene slab I like that prefab keep in mind on this version prefabs are limited but uh, fpscreator.com has a lot of uh, packs already about 17 packs with the prefabs uh, creatures weapons and stuff so you can build pretty nice games they have different physics and different abilities and today's date is April 23rd 2008 so by the day you're gonna watch this tutorial they're probably gonna have even more Okay, 